What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will Farrar from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Check, come check out the website if you haven't already. All sorts of good stuff going on in this picture. Once again, thank you to my buddy Chell. He sent this one over. This is coming back. This is uh, one of the brand new right off the Curiosity rover, but it's from the Molly camera. It's not from the mask cam, which uh, is designed a little bit different. It's on the end of, a, I believe, an arm. And there's all sorts of good stuff in these pictures. And I think that a lot of these get pushed through a lot of the image manipulation that goes on at uh, wherever it goes on, whether it's being done on the rover or it's being done another way. Because they're not really designed to take these long pictures. But we've gotten so many good long shots from it because you know, if, if you look back to what it's designed to take, it's designed to take these really um, up-close shots. And you see them. Some of them are beautiful. Uh, there we go. And it kind of gets stuck there, and they'll, they'll use it to snap some shots, and then they always send all the pictures down. And a lot of people say, well, if, if NASA was, was messing with these shots, why would they, you know, give them back? Why would they even send them back? Because they have to, because they're, they're not the only organization that knows what comes down off the rover, so they have to eventually publish them out. I mean, that's what I think, you know, whether it's being done or whatever. So here's what I've done. Here I see I've got turned around a little bit. Here's how it directly came from NASA. You don't have to worry about clicking on the, reading that link up there at the top here. Just go ahead and go to my description in the video. I always link it. That's one thing I always do. And let's take a look at this thing. It's pretty cool. Um, even right from NASA, it looks pretty cool. But what I, you know what I like to do? I try and mess with the exposures a little bit, do this, do that. And what my buddy noticed was this piece right here. See it? It almost looks like a some sort of... Never mind all these pieces out here that are just kind of interesting. We'll take a look at them in a second. Or this piece right here that's really cool. Almost looks like a piece of a, uh, some sort of fish sculpture or something. It looks like something you'd see out of uh, like a Mexican down that way. Peru, down those, those type of uh, South America. Those type of uh, ruins. But check this out. And look at the cross hatch that goes across this whole part of it. It's pretty interesting. I've been able to kind of get through it on some of it. But if you look up here, you actually wonder if it did try to get hit by some of the image manipulation. But it seems to be... Let's go back to find the one spot here. Where was it? Sorry, guys. I started talking and I'm always hearing another block right there. <laughs> I see. I always see more stuff as we're going. Here it is. Right here. This like, line of whatever it was. I was right on it as I was doing it. See how it's kind of got that strange looking kind of obfuscation? Well, check this out. It's got like a little S thing in here. And here it does look like from a long ways like it's connected. But as I get up close, I wonder if it is connected or if it's not. What do you guys think? You guys think that's connected? It almost looks like an ornate small statue or something. Check it out. It's got a real long staff or like a staff or something. It's got some squiggly coming over here. It looks like it actually looks like it's got an alien head at the top. That's, I see what I see. You see what you see. Yeah, let's see if I'll, I'll turn it so it's straight up and down. Um, this interesting piece, whatever it is. Um, God, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this one. Let's see, since it's everything else, let's just brighten it up for us here to see if we can't see anything more when it gets brightened up. Kind of washes away. Let me give it some contrast, too. Still see it there, but what interest. That's pretty cool. That's, that's, that's what he sent it over for, uh, my buddy Chow. He saw that. He was like, man, that's just very straight to be built, sitting out here in the middle of this desert-like uh, bottom of Mount Sharp that we're finding where... Look at the coloring in this stuff. And this color comes directly from NASA. I'm not adding it. It's not just the bare filter adding it either. Look at this thing. It's, it's got the colors in it. Look at the different color of that weird looking half. To be honest with you, it looks like this would have been nose. That would have been mouth. That would have been eye. But it's broken off on the other side. We just can't see the other side. Or maybe this is the other half of it. And that snapped back up to it. But look at the coloring in it. I mean, it's in the picture. Um, like I said, it's neat how this, this camera has turned out so many good pictures of, of interesting things and not even really designed to do it. Um, just by having to flip them over, turn around, and take a look at them up on the hill here. This whole uh, area here seems to be of interest to me and of, uh, to, the, to the staff. But now let's go back down. See that? Man. This that whole area. This actually looked like some more wheels type air, objects right there. And what do we got here? Look at it. You can even see the shadow on it. It's like got like the perfect. It almost looks like another uh, 
Looks like it's got two little pieces in it too. Check this out. Let's see this. Yep, and you see it that way too. On Earth, I'd say it would look like a little hide scrape or something they'd use. Like, there was one on a couple of videos ago. This is kind of interesting, little squarish type, little little indent in it. But I thought this was kind of cool. It just kind of looks like an interesting gargoyle face type thing. I don't know. I see what I see, you see what you see. It definitely looks like it's just not random. And look at the coloring compared. And here how it came from NASA. So that color is in there. It's really like a light, light blue. Um, little holes, stuff like that. Now, if you think, oh, well, this is just random stuff. Now, let me show you the one over here. It just can't be random. I mean, it looks like a, a modern-day piece of hardware that you would see. Where is it? Not that over there, which I just noticed that. That's pretty interesting as well. Or this, what seems to be kind of sheet metal or something, just kind of sticking out of the uh, of the ground there. It could just be a rock, but look at it. it kind of looks like it has fins. It looks like a buried... Uh, I'm just going to go out there on a limb and give it one of my favorite... It's a buried spaceship. <laughs> I don't know, guys. That's cool. What in the world is that? Let's see if we can't, we can't get that thing a little brighter. That looks neat. That kind of looks like it's uh, sticking out, like a little head on it. If you guys could ch always check out the website. If, you're, if you watch the videos and you get this far into a video, check the website out. Because I put a bunch of these enhanced pictures up there. And if you're adding the other ones to your collections, you might as well add these. Okay, here we are. We're getting towards the stuff now. Here's some of it. Okay, check this out right here. It looks like it says CSI. Look at their, uh, the show's so bad it's got to go up to, uh, <laughs> it's got to put, you know, advertising on Mars. What do you guys think about that? Look at this. This rock, if it was a rock, it'd be perfectly shaped around here with the little nodes on it and stuff. What do we say? Are the Martians this big? Could they have been? Could, could, They've been our size. Could this just be leftover stuff that's been that was destroyed you know, years ago? It's the loss of a civilization. So I put these out in every single video. I always ask these questions, and every once in a while, like my subscribers, I think just you know they ignore them by now. They've seen, they've heard them in a million times. But um, a lot of you guys knew. A lot, I love to hear your stuff. Here it is, right here. Here's the obviously mechanical looking. This looks like look. It looks like two pipe intakes right here with something going on. Hopefully you guys can see that. I mean, that, that looks a little bit unnatural. And look here in front here. This actually looks like an entrance to something right there. And look, it's got two little, two little spears as you would walk in. Now, a lot of people have told me that the uh, beings and people who are dead serious, that the beings on Mars are, you know, only this big, very, very small. And that the stuff that, you know, they're like, you know, why won't they incapacitate the rover? Because the rover is like Godzilla rolling through that thing. The uh, shooting lasers off and stuff. Now, if this has got to be just in the picture, because if it wasn't, that'd be pretty cool to see. Let me go down here. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? That's not rover track, I can tell you that right now. You know, it goes, it actually goes with the, it's probably part of the camera shot, just not where, kind of goes through the whole thing. Yeah, that's not track, sorry guys. Got a little, got a little ahead of myself there. As we can sometimes do at whatsupinthesky.com, because you know what we do, and that's just so interesting to me, that little piece right there. It looks like a little robot head. Um, Anything else that I missed here of interest? Just kind of cool just sitting out there in the middle. Here's another little piece. Let's show you these, these little uh, blocky steps here. Let's take a look at this and I'll let you guys go. Check that out. Okay, we've got two things here. We've got this little piece down here. It just seems, could just be a standard rock. But the, if it is, the rocks up there seem to grow with some really awesome shapes to them and a lot of like divots that go around them they seem to have lettering on them like see how there looks to be like a c on that maybe or you know of course that's what of course i'm not thinking that if there was anything up there that they spoke english but <laughs> if you get what i'm saying here check this cool thing out it almost looks like a little round uh headband or something let's see if we can see that in the original nasa shot yeah it's there look at that a little perfect circle almost all right, now that was a little piece that stepped down, the little blocky pieces. And, you know, that could be nothing, but it's sitting next to something that looks a little awkward, too. Kind of a little round piece on top of a square block. Well, you, know, you don't see that too often here. And when it's on Mars, like I said, I could be wrong. This could all be just rocks. Um, you know, Chell, my buddy that sends me stuff, could be totally wrong. 
we could all be just totally wrong, but I got a hunch that when you see something like that, it's just not a pile of rocks on Mars. It's just, it's some, something was intelligently made and went into this and went into the actual making of things here. Look at this piece up here. Buried technology, if you ask me. Something comes off of it, a hose. It comes into here. Look at these little pieces that come off of here. When do you ever see rocks that grow like that? Or break off like that, you know, and the things that look like tubes that come around. I mean, you tell me, comment below. What do you guys think? I mean, this kind of looks like a little rock circle. Um, looks like a hat or helmet right there, actually. There's a lot more up on the top of this hill. Check this out right here that I even noticed before. These two, like two little spears, and it's got a little hooky type thing coming off on the top. See what that looks like. Yeah, that's there. Look at the cross hatches into that um, that that the camera added. It kind of goes away a little bit in the black and white one, but I didn't blur it first. I uh, blurred these first, so it kind of takes that not that one. This one I did right here, so that's what it kind of looks like taking it out. But you lose a lot of the real you know, definition, and it kind of looks fuzzy. So that's why I like having all the views there. Like we can flip to this one, you can see the cross hatch a little bit. But they're a lot more defined. Like, look at this up there. One, two, three. And it comes down. Check that out. Bam. And then we can go to this one. This is kind of interesting. I like the way I do it. I used to do it all while you guys were watching the video. But the videos were like 30, 40 minutes. It was getting to be really, really long. Um, now, if some of you guys want me to do that every once in a while, I'll still do a couple of those. Just let me know. I'm trying to really work for you guys this year. I want, I've got... I've got about 100 videos, 100 pictures right now from the moon to and other topics I want to get covered. And what do you guys want? <laughs> you, you know, I, I know you guys want, I've been doing a lot of Mars, but there's a lot of people doing the Mars stuff. It's awesome, though, because there's so much good stuff coming back recently. It just started kicking in that looks like technology. And this is really, I want the rover to go up that path that we thought we had found. Um, at the beginning when we first didn't, went there, uh, although you know they're never going to drive up there because they'd be driving into buildings. At least we will never see it. Um, but the new Opportunity rover just brought some great pictures back, and I'm going to be doing some videos on that. My buddy Chris at Mars Anomalies just did some good videos, so if you're not subscribed to him, go subscribe to him. Check out those. Lots of good stuff going on. So, All right, guys. As always, check Check the website out for some enhanced views of this stuff. I always put them up. Comment below. Now, your shares and your likes are, are really helping. Um, hashtag what's up in the sky I'm going to start putting that in. And what in the world was this thing right here? This is what I started off the video with, this little squirrely thing. I didn't even talk much about it. It looks like a goldfishy. <laughs> it looks like a goldfish cracker. If you cut that piece off right there. But uh, whatever it is, it seems to be up and down here along those lines. See how it kind of comes around? Like you could just flip it over and it's set down like a little, you know, another little toy rabbit or something like that or a little figurine. So I don't know, guys. My name is Will from What's Up in the Sky 37. As always, like I said, www.whatsupinthesky.com. we got all sorts of good researchers out there posting their stuff all the time. Lots of good stuff to see. You can spend all night there just sitting there staring at stuff. So hope to catch you on there. Sign up for your free account. Talk in the forums. A lot, lot of new people are joining. Love you guys. Love people who talk in the forums. You guys rock. It just bringing so much excitement into it. Now, we're really going to bust this stuff through in 2015. I promise you guys. I'll work hard. I'm definitely going to be working hard for this stuff. So, all right. Much love to you. Take it easy. Hope you had a wonderful weekend or having one so far. It's Friday night. Got the fire going. Doing good. Peace.